What's up, everybody? FSC Trucking. So, we are live, and we're on our way to Max. And, you know, we don't have Orwell because we got a lot of stuff going on after Max, which is why we're sitting here with the heavy duty light, and we're in a moving vehicle, so it's hard to read them. It really is. So, anything that makes it better is better. We did do a little damage here. Right here. Bent the, uh, from that gator. Yeah. Bent the nose of the trailer in, but look at the equalizer bracket. Right here. Oh. Look at that. See it bent? It was bolted here. It slid out that way. See? And then it crumbled up the nose of the trailer a little bit. So that crap happens. There was nothing I could do to miss it. Boy, I felt it hit. That sucks. So we're gonna completely leave my pride behind and act like a fool for a little bit here. All right, baby, here you go. Babe. Yeah, there's so many people watching it. Yeah, there's. All right, over here. The background answer. Yeah. Jay King in the background answer. Here you go. Do we have any music in there, Stu? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta let that. You can hear it. To the right, guys. Oh, <laughs> I'm the <laughs> <I'm the right. laughs> Give me your left arm up. Oh, oh. <laughs> video because I look like an idiot. <laughs> that was good stuff, good stuff. Appreciate it was fun. Hey, man, see, you can dance I got down too as best I can, which is not at all glamorous, but I did the best I could. <laughs> You're a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. You guys want to get a picture? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah, let's go. What? Yeah, I want to wear a shirt. I want to roast a shirt. You should register grab me by the shirt. 
Take me nowhere, I'm a bad influence. That's <laughs> right, it does that. If you can't buy that, we might be concerned about it. I don't think that was my car. I didn't think that was your car, we didn't give it to her. What size you want? You made mine. <laughs> Thank you, you got the winning car, darling. Thank you. Thank you for having me use that thing. Y'all boys look great on this truck, man. I think she's so appreciated. And them things will fly. Yeah, it kept we'll go. going faster and faster. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> it was going. All right, well, we're going to get out your way, man. I appreciate right, you. Man. Thank I'm you. I'm going to see that on the channel, man. Yeah, you will. Thanks for letting us use them. That whole thing started. This guy showed up with the wheel cart, and uh, we were just like, I was just messing around. I just jumped on it, jacked this car, went for a ride. And Tim's like, hey, we'll race. Well, his wife was riding on this one, so it's like, she got the best one apparently. So it's like, fast like all right, we'll race. So that's how that whole thing started. I don't know if it's fast or if it's just the driver. I'm sure. No, I wore it out when I stole it first. Uh, <laughs> I took the Grand Theft Auto. You style. ran the battery low on that one. That, that's what it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That works. You believe me, right? <laughs> oh the God. was upset. She's like, I want to ride that. Uh huh. What's the? Does it get All right, so what's your 60 Series Detroit? Right, oh no, the cab over's got a uh, a cat in it. Oh. But I want to put a Detroit. I'm a Detroit guy by, by nature. And easy to swap. Right, super easy. Right. Right. So I can bring it out there to y'all, and y'all. Yeah. Do everything for me. Okay. A lot of my subscribers, but take it to Tim. Take it to Tim. I was like, I know, guys. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> I mean, let me save my money up a little bit first. Yeah, let me yeah. get on out there and but get the truck. Now house. we're done with this one. Uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta do some. Gotta right. keep going. I gotta stay motivated. But as long as I got the money to do it, we can do it as fast as you want to do. It. Right. Yeah, I have the international long car at first. Yeah, I had a truck note, ended up having to give it back. A lot of cash truck, and we've been rebuilding it from the ground up. That's what I did. I mean, that's uh, I had long truck and. I failed twice when the too long. Right. And then, Can you say that again? I bought a cash truck and people have been beating me up over yeah. it. Guys, the only two times I failed in trucking is when I had loans. I got rid of my loans. I bought an old crappy 370, 377 Peterbilt. Uh, it was so, like it was a day cab truck to somebody converted. You, you're all the way up in the dash. There's no room for your legs. I drive down the road sideways my legs. On cruise. He used five gallons of oil. <laughs> wow. Detroit. But it kept it going. It loaded out the exhaust as fast as I could have been. And then people say you can't cash flow a business. Oh, yeah. You I can. get a lot of hate. Hey, music. my whole business is cash flow. And I, I've got 30 trucks. So you ate steaks last night, didn't you? No, I went far with you, actually. But no, I'll tell you right, on, on my side of things, what I owe money on is the pickup truck and the race. If everything went, and I, but I owe no money on the equipment, the, tra the truck, the trailer. You know, I, mean, I leased the shop, don't get me wrong, but right. if it got real bad, I can survive without a dually right. pickup, I can right. survive without a razor. Right. But if I lose my trucks, right. how do I eat? Right. See? Right. So it's, it's okay, to me, it's okay if you have like, you know, some debt on personal stuff, right. but the business, right. I don't think that's such a smart idea. Right. Especially you owe, you owe so much money on a rig, and if the if the rates don't, don't reflect that kind of pay, right. what do you do? The bank right. wants their money. Exactly, right. So I've got friends that own like 40 trucks. I'm right. I'm I'm just subscribe. So guys, go check Appreciate his channel you. out. Lone Star Texas Stranger. Yes, sir. Um, I, we'll be doing pretty a collab cool. pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. I have my, my boys out there with their wrenches. My wife helps with the interior and we're all outside in my driveway building this truck. I can see right now you guys support a family. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Any woman that can come <laughs> in here with four kids and walk around this truck show is... She stays at home at home schools, all of them. That's good. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, you might as well. There you go. Look at Steve in the wild. Yeah. All righty. He's oh, signing the bloody hat. <laughs> Dude, it's going to take a long time to get used to that. The bloody tiger Steve is over here signing parts. <laughs> He's doing his best. I'm sorry. Everybody told me that man had to go on to work. 
uh, Monday morning because we was up watching that live all night. I said, well, sorry about that. <laughs> I do, I do that all the time. How's it going? It's going. Better get a picture of Steve while he's here. Heck yeah. Yeah, man. I enjoy all your videos. No problem. Thanks. It is finally exploring the last time. Ah, thank you. Hoping to have it here next year. Awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, we've got some plans for it. We'll see if we can get the uh, uh, yeah, trailer. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I want to make a work trailer, so. Thank you. Orwell looks good to it, actually. Yeah. I don't think a Ford will be done in a year. It might, but I doubt it. I'm not, I don't want to promise that, but I think a trailer would be a good goal. Yeah, a lot better. That's kind of where we're That's what I'm hoping for. We've got a full-time mechanic coming now. Came here to show on uh, on, on Thursday. I know he's uh, he moving out of Ohio. He just got done bringing his fifth wheel up, left it in my shop. He wanted to look at his house and resign sign uh, papers on it. He's moving, so he'll be, he'll be living pro, you know, pretty close to the shop. That's good. But he'll be he'll be putting a 40 hour work week up in there. Keep keep you know keep our old running, keep the trailer going, and then uh, you know that way he he also can drive, so I might util utilize him to like load freight while I'm doing other stuff with you. But the point is, we're going to be a lot busier now that I can now double my workforce than just me. And that's the biggest hurdle I have is I don't have the time to do everything. Can you be in two places at once? No, I can't. Yeah. I got to drive the truck, fix the truck, make the video, edit the video. Sometime I got to sleep and have a life. I know so I do. Like, I haven't had a life in the last year. And I'm sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, what I get done since last year? I acquired the Ford and towed it in, grown the channel a little bit. And I felt like that was kind of stagnant. My older son told me, well, Dad, you're growing just not as fast as you want. Well, that might be true, but so I'm hoping, hoping this upcoming year be bigger and better, grow the channel, grow the business. And it's all starting with uh, what's now going to be my biggest bill, labor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. So last year at Matt's, I tried to do a bunch of videos. And other than a handful of them, they really didn't do so well. So I really wasn't trying to do a bunch of different Mid America Truck and Show videos. But I did want to, now that the crowd had died down somewhat, as the last day being Saturday, I wanted to try to get Weston's truck on the channel and show what exactly Tim and the crew and been working on. Tim's been working on a truck with Fitzgerald Collision Repair doing the paintwork. And SH2 finished up a lot of the stainless, that's their grill, a whole bunch of other stuff going around the truck. Now I got the time, I figure I'd show it to you and see what the heck we got going on. Now Fitzgerald Collision and Repair did the work on it and you can see my reflection in the paint. Hey, look at that. Usually you don't want to see me. It's understandable you see me in polished aluminum. But in the paint too? Look at that. Say hi to yourselves. Hi me. Check that out. Now that's a paint job. That's a frighteningly good paint job. Now the truck started life is a 99. 379 Peterbilt and there is some controversy surrounding the Kenworth doors now if you look at the Kenworth door it's not as tall as the factory Peterbilt door now these are 389 Peterbilt doors that run out of 379 but the Kenworth door is you see that gap right there the rivet line if you put a 379 peak door you'd have to cut into that rivet line there's a structural beam in there that keeps the sleeper together You'd have had to raise up that structural beam or keep the structural integrity perfect and leave it alone and put your Kenworth door. Also, when you open a door, it's easier to get in and out because you have to climb what steps are going to be put on where the tank straps are. So it's better to put the Kenworth door than the Peterbilt door. They decided to go with the 389 Peterbilt door and check out the mirror brackets bolted on your 379. Now this right here, I think, should be kept just to kind of be a little goofy homage to where the truck came from and how it started. Apparently, Weston got these air cleaners out of a junkyard for uh, rebuilding the truck, or his version of rebuilding it. So your 2600, it's not a unit number, it's a stock number from a Peterbilt junkyard, or maybe that was the price, I'm not sure. <laughs> but either way, I kind of feel that should be left alone just to show it a little bit of where it came from. I mean, after all, the truck was built for the Weston Champlin, so I kind of think that fits.
I checked the blue pearl in the paint. You see that off the lighting. Big long frame. This is that double frame that Kim got for Rooster originally. Paint a fifth wheel, paint a slider, and an SHQ made this bracket to cover up your bolt holes. It's SHQ stainless right there. So now, now we got a gap in the action. Let me tell my viewers what's going on with the truck, all about it. We well, should know about it because they should be watching your channel, but just in case we're not. It's a Peterbilt 379. It's got a Cummins in it, 13 speed. Um, actually, guys, it is a Sears Peterbilt 379. We had four weeks to put it together. When I announced we were coming to match with it, everybody thought I was crazy. I thought I was crazy. I literally said to myself, I just screwed up. Like, I probably just destroyed my YouTube channel and my reputation by making this promise. But I stuck behind my word. My team worked their butts off. All the people we worked with worked hard. And uh, we built this truck. So, uh, well, I ain't been home in four weeks. But it's done. And I'm going home after this show, and I'm going to go sleep for about 12 hours, and I'm going to go all boat. There you go. Let's it's gonna be, it inside. It's going to be hard to go home. Check her out. It is got Oh, I wish I'd hook lights up. So we got some recliners back here. Um, they massage you, vibrate, light up. Whole nine yards, we're putting some flat screens back here. It's gonna be so much more to it. So, of course you got a shifter from SH2, oh, yeah. the lighting is terrible. We well, got check the, the shift knob, that is badass. It's a piston, um, skull piston. This is kind of like the piston you'd have in Rooster, evil. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just done some little things like we still gotta do the interior this is just we just threw it together to get here and um we made it uh, so there'll be some more videos coming out on it just kind of going through everything finishing everything up uh, working the bugs out of it and all that good stuff but um, i'm happy with it it runs and drives it operates like it's supposed to when we fired up and pulled it out of the shop, it was like just a relief. And you made it here with literally 10 it, minutes to spare. Yeah, they had done shut the door. And I had to get Bruce to go find them and get them to open the door up. I'm like, oh, no, no, we still got 10 minutes. You said 5 o'clock, it is 4.50. So we rushed and got it off the trailer and, um, and pulled it in right as the door was shut. Ah. Well, there it is. Weston Champlin's 379 Peterbilt. Appreciate it, brother. It was good. You did a good job. Thank you. I know it was a lot of work into it. A lot of hard, long, sleepless nights. All right, Rob. Why don't you go and show us what you got on that truck? Because I know you did a lot of work to this thing also. Well, we've done the uh, custom T-bar. Done a custom mud flap weight, deck plate all the way to the front. Uh, we done a four inch reverse T-bar. We done a uh, stainless brace bars up to the frame. I didn't even see that.
I noticed the, the covers on the side of the fifth wheel there. Yeah, we done them too. I about forgot about them. We done the stainless covers for the fifth wheel. We done the back windows trim. We've done the stainless window trim. Of course, you were just talking with a customer about the deck plate yeah. and all that. So that goes all the way under the fifth wheel, too. It's got bracing in it. You can actually walk on this deck plate. I don't advise it because it's stainless, but you can walk on it. All righty. I know you put one of your grills on it too. You would put a grill on it. I put the uh, sinus on the side, six inch, with underglows. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, we ain't turned them off. We didn't hook them up. To be honest about it, we'd run out of time. <laughs> I put the Kenworth doors in. That's right. I forgot about that. You you did the work with the with the putting the door in it. Doors. We done the uh, Kenworth door chops. Uh, 389 Peterbilt door chops. The watermelon bracket lights with the sticker. Uh, done the freezer panel stainless with no lights back here. We done the watermelon lights in the front. The uh, windshield trim. But he didn't put the wipers on. Uh, bumper braces. Excuse me. We done the. Uh, hey, let me get a picture of it. We done the uh, air to air pipes that's stainless under the hood. We done the uh, radiator support brackets under the hood. We done the grill. Three or four stainless grill. Done both your uh, license plate brackets. Now this is a small hole grill, right? That's the yeah, smallest that's hole. Yeah, small oval. Uh, also forgot these right here. This to me is the best looking part of the truck. See these little corner stainless? You can put them on any 389. We done them inside now. They even on the inside right here. Oh, check that out. It's that last little oh, detail. Oh, I forgot. We put a shifter oh, in. Oh yeah, we saw Tim showed me that. Yeah. And we made all these uh, floor plate. plate. We done the uh, little trim inside there for around the uh, gear stick. My favorite part of the whole truck, well the hood ain't open. My favorite part of the whole truck is the uh, radiator support bracket. Radiator support and the bumper, bumper support. And these, you can't really see with these six inch chops, but. Oh, right here too, yeah. we've done the air tanks. Yeah, yeah the air tanks. Stainless. Oh, look at that. Yeah. For your air tank, where they hold on. Yeah. And we've done that in three days. <laughs> All righty. Well, you run a whole shop, not just with the shifters, you run a whole shop with all kind of custom stainless parts. Yes, yeah. And you're located in Corbin, Kentucky. Cor yep. And uh, there's our brand, this fellas. This tube, shift happens. Shift happens. And that, you can say that in church. Yes, sir. Well, you got to shift your car or your truck. <laughs> or your truck. There you are. Yeah. But if you got that little accent like I got, you got to be real careful where you say that. <laughs> All right, Rob, thank uh, you very much. You, Steve. you guys did an awesome job. Appreciate I definitely sure want to make sure you got the credit where credit was due. Well, and thanks, thanks for all your help. We'll be seeing you soon. Well, thank you.
That's it right there. That's it right there.
what's happening. Here's 379, 389 doors, you see how tall they are? Yeah, and that's why it wouldn't have worked. But back here, I mean, like this is plumbed down on the the floor, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. piece. And then up here it'd be in the roof cap. Yeah. So it makes sense. Um, we could have lowered the floor, but that's a lot of work. Yeah. Either way, I mean it's the main thing was that it's different. Yeah. I, I like the yeah, idea. It's the most it budget built truck you'll ever see, probably. You get some breaking miles on them now? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it made it. I can't either. And I was like, let's just try it. We just literally <laughs> put uh -huh. this thing together and um, good. put it on a trailer and drove it up here on the trailer and pulled it in the boot. It's never been drove. And it's, I see it. It's new from front to back. Cool. It's the first time we even. What? Uh, we had 10 minutes when did, when did you start uh, building it up? Like I was watching ago. some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it was, it was, I delivered the cab and sleeper fence trail like four weeks ago. Uh huh. And then they painted it and then got over there. We were just going to stick it on the cab and then the colors I didn't like. So I was like, well, let's change the frame color. So that was another three days. And then um, I can't even cry. I'm just glad it's together. Yeah. Uh, good. Everybody had a part in it, a real good job. They worked hard. Well, I'm going to keep scrolling. Trust All right, me. brother. Thank you. you.